Welcome back to Supers Live. It's time for the Supers Post Race. Hey, we've got a guy that swept the night in the broadcast booth with us. Congratulations, Dave O. That was pretty impressive. Uh, both races, pretty much check it out out there. First one having to come from the back, second one having to come from the back. Uh, good race cars tonight here at IRP. Do you like this racetrack in Claremont, Indiana? I do like it. It's a it's a nice track. I gotta say, I like it more in the non-wing than the wing because you gotta drive it a lot more in the non-wing, and it's uh less sticky than the wing cars, uh, as it should be. But uh, it was a battle tonight, that's for sure. I think that that makes what three three in a row. I started from last, or basically uh, one position from last to to come from the from the back, and it's always a challenge when you have fast cars like we do here, and. Uh, Thankfully, it was a semi-long race, I guess, for, for uh, these standards here with 50 laps. So that certainly helped my cause a bit. I did have no 20-lap sprint or anything. So uh had some time to get it done. Definitely had to patiently work my way up through during the wing race. And uh tried to force some guys into my, some mistakes by just sitting on their uh, nerf bar for a while. And uh, kind of got lucky in the uh, non-wing, avoiding the mayhem there in the first two or so laps. And I was able to uh, escape unscathed until taking my uh, little lawnmower trip down the backstretch grass. Not really sure why I felt that was necessary. The car just kind of said, I'm going to go down here now. So uh, thankfully I was able to gather it back up just in front of Rob and uh, settle down and kind of just run a, a decent pace. Build a little bit of a gap there. But Dave, which was uh, which which car would you prefer to race here at IRP? I'd prefer the non-wing car. Kind of suiting your driving style, liking to drive a loose race car, that's for sure. Did a good job out there today, and uh, picked up the double down, just like Rob Warren did last year. Uh, bonus points there, and fast lap of the race, pretty much a sweep of the night, other than the heat race. What happened out there in that wing heat race? Yeah, we got... I was uh, following Brad around, and we were trying to work our way by Steve. Um, and Brad just couldn't quite get the run, so I tried pushing him down the backstretch there the last two or three laps. And that last lap, I gave him a little too much of a push, and I wound up turning myself around. So, unfortunate that happened. Uh, but it seems to be following the theme of where I left off last week, starting in the back. So, hopefully it doesn't continue. Though I can't argue with the results, so... I would hope not. Good job, Dave. Congratulations uh, on sweeping the night here at IRP. On to Madison next week. Uh, can we look forward to seeing the TMS Wolfpack number 11 on that big bank track? Oh, yeah. Hopefully it's a, a, a good car because I know it's a tough track to get around, high banked, so should be a great one here coming up. Dave O out of Union, Connecticut, sweeping the night here, picking up the double down and uh, Super's Chargers bonuses in both races. But the guy that comes home, the big winner here tonight, even though he failed to win a feature, he takes the Indiana Super Mod Challenge this evening and picks up the 10 bonus points for that. Congratulations, Rob Moore, now a three-time Indiana Super Mod Challenge champion, uh, tying Race and Junior for second. Uh, with the most wins here. Miles Baxton having five of those championships. Now you're up to three. How's it feel? I'd still be at two if Dave O could have made that very first race. Holy smokes, is that guy fast and good and clean and consistent. And uh, it's a joy to race with Dave, even if I, you know, can barely see him near the end of the race. But, uh, you know, the guy deserves a room. And, man, when uh, we had that melee on lap two, all of a sudden a black 11 car went underneath me. And I'm like, who was that? Oh, my goodness, it's Dave. He went from seventh or eighth to uh, to first in two laps. That's impressive. Um, it was a crazy race, uh, uh, both races. Uh, the first one I just held on. Um, I was lucky to get a start starting spot on the pole. And only lose two spots, but I was just holding on and praying. Um, it was cool racing, having you race with me. And I know Keith was right there as well in the first one. 
The second one, once we got the lineup figured out, the 11 took off. We went several laps, and uh, look, he's going sideways down the back stretch. He went down in the grass, came back up on the track. I mean, he was like three seconds ahead when uh, when we came out of turn two, maybe even more, because when we went into turn three, he was a second and a half ahead, and then he vanished. You know, that car just got smaller and smaller. Then I couldn't see him. But uh, to be a three-time champ of the Indiana Challenge is pretty awesome. Um Good night for points for me, not so good for some of the other guys. So I feel for their pain. I've been there. I've had nights like that. But, uh, you know, we, we just keep uh, struggling and, and moving forward and trying to, trying to catch up to that dang 11 car. Congratulations, Rob. Uh, picking up con some consistency here, a win, and... Uh, a second and a third in the Indiana Supermod Challenge for 2020. Well, folks, coming up next week, we have got, uh, as we clear out Victory Lane here at IRP, we're going to move on and start continue to move west here as we head to Wisconsin for the St. Patrick's Day Grab It a Green at Madison International Speedway. First time for Supers at this track. We hope you can join us for that. That's going to be a fun, wild, fast show. Uh, as Dave O said, that big high bank track, always interesting. Going to be uh, a good show there to see who can pass around the outside. Multiple grooves are racing for sure at that track. So we look forward to seeing you there. Coming up later uh, in the Super's uh, schedule, I-70 Speedway coming up as well for the uh, Show Me State 50. Another big bank track. So we've got some pretty fast racetracks coming up as we wind down our season and head towards california to close it out with the 16th annual summit classic so we're going to shut things down tonight until you thank you very much don't forget get that merchandise you got 10 percent off until midnight pacific tonight go to teespring.com slash stores slash supers dash merch and pick up any supers item in the merch store for 10 percent off tonight only Congratulations to your race winner, Rocket, or excuse me, your Indiana Supermod Challenge champion, Rocket Rob Warren, coming home uh, with first place over Keith Powell in that battle. But the real winner here tonight, driver of the number 11 TMS Wolfpack, Dave O, sweeping the evening, most laps led, fastest lap both race, supercharger both race, and double down for winning both features. Until next week, I'm Bob Gangwer, thanking each and every one of you. First to finish race servers, WAG's Custom and Cool Awards, Icing's on Top, Hairbag Studios, BreezeGraphics.com, and first to finish race servers for being with us here tonight and helping us put on a great Super Modified Sim Racing show for you. Come back next week. We'll see if you can get lucky as you keep it wingside up and wheels to the ground.